Hi, welcome back. Sifu, one of the unique things about the Wing Chun system is the concept or the idea of facing. Mm. Could you say a little bit about that? Certainly. Facing, or in Cantonese we say Chiu Ying, is the idea that if you always face your opponent and their core at all times, you will have a better chance of being able to use all your weapons, plus you're only offering your opponent one target. A lot of martial arts systems will fight with a semi-side-on or side-on position. Now, that might suit the structure and the techniques of their system, but we look at it from the perspective that if I'm even slightly side-on, I can reach with one hand, but to reach with the other hand is going to require a change of body position. And perhaps I'm not fast enough to turn before my opponent can hit me. Equally important is the fact that if I'm semi-side-on, I actually expose myself in three areas. Morton could hit my front, he could hit my side, and he could hit my back. He can reach all those targets from here. But in Wing Chun, we believe that if I face square on, so if I face you 100% front on, you can only attack the front. And that means if you can only attack the front, that's one target that you have, but I now have two, if not three weapons mm -hmm. to protect and counter with. So as long as I face you, you throw an attack at me, no matter what it is, if I face you, I can reach equally with both hands at the same time. But for you to change hands is going to take time. So if I stop that first one and you try to throw a second one, as long as I face you, I cut off your avenue to that attack. Another thing about facing is it makes you a lot stronger. If I've intercepted a punch with my body turned slightly and you put pressure there, it's actually quite simple for you to push me out the way. But if I'm facing you and you put pressure there, I can make you lose your position. And I'm not using any strength to do that. I'm simply making sure that as you come in, I adjust my stance so that I'm square. And if you're throwing multiple punches at me, it doesn't matter how many punches are coming, if I'm front on and square, you can't get in because there's a barrier in your way all the time. In Wing Chun uh, concepts, what we look at is the three key forms of Xin Yun Tao, Cham Kyu and Biu Ji as containing the essential elements of Wing Chun. Xin Yun Tao is about Chiu Ying, facing. Cham Kyu, by and large, is about Zui Ying. Zui Ying means chasing, the ability to hit a moving target. Biu Ji teaches us the disadvantages and the skills to get out of the situation when you have Bai Ying. Buying means being unable to face your enemy. What we always want to do in a fighting situation is have Chiu Ying for us and Bai Ying for our enemy. So if uh, Morton attacks me with a quick burst of punches, I want him turned away. This is Bai Ying for him, but for me, it's always Chiu Ying. If he tries to get in again with another attack, I will face him, but I've got him facing the wrong way. If he tries again, I'm always facing him, but I make him face the wrong way. This is the concept of tilling or facing, being able to always use all your weapons. And you notice my movement is very small. Morton is virtually going from one side to the other, whereas when he attacks me, I only have to change a tiny little bit. And I've already got his line. Doesn't matter how many times he tries to change the angle, for me, it's very easy to capture his balance and force him to face the wrong way. It's the same as if I'm forced to move and he attacks me with a whole body action. I would drop back a little bit to absorb the impact, but I make very, very sure I have two ying. So at this point now, I can reach him with two hands. If he wants to hit me with the other hand, it's going to take him a lot longer than me to get there. And for Wing Chun, this is the essential concept. Face your opponent at all times. All right. Great. Thanks. Thank you.